Hey what is up, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna cover all essential clavier flows that your e-commerce brand must have set up in order to make an extra 30 to 50% more revenue coming from email or the email and SMS every single month. I'll break them down step by step, one by one, so stay tuned and watch the whole video. Let's start with the welcome flow without further ado. So the welcome flow, as you know, I like to make the welcome flow quite long, that's why I recommend you go with 9 flows at least, and this is the structure I use. As for the time delays, I like to do for the first 4 to 5 emails between 2 and 3 days time delay between each email and then I make it longer between 3 to 4 days between each email for emails 5 to 9. Uh, you want to spread out the flow across the emails and across like a few weeks. You don't want to send them like 9 emails in 9 days because they're gonna get fed up. You want to stay on top of their mind by building the good first impression but not annoying them too much with too many emails. That's why I'm spreading it out across a few weeks like that. So email number one, giving an incentive and leaving, they just signed up to get the discount code, so give it to them and don't try to make the email too long, don't confuse them. Email number two, story from the founder, I love using plain text format for this email, just to make it more personal, you can also play with the sender's name, so for example, instead of Nike uh, having as a sender's name, you would have Maria from Nike or John from Nike or whatever, make it personal, it's gonna work well, I guarantee that. Then brand story, so how you got started, your mission, vision, uh, what makes you different, people love hearing stories, plus they can associate with it, and you're actually standing out by being different than other brands, because this is unique only about your brand. Your number four, USP, so what actually makes you and your products different, and why people should buy from you versus from your competitors. And don't try to trust talk your competitors by calling them out, saying like, yeah, brand X is terrible, uh, just show why you're better. So instead of have, you know calling out names, have your regular brand uh, versus our brand and do like comparison. Comparison tables work, work extremely well, so try them out. Then social proof, so you're removing one of the most common, common objections, which is, would it work for me, does it work for others, is it a scam, uh, email number 5 is gonna solve it by having reviews, success stories and testimonials. Then education, so if you have a blog article, definitely promote it, if you don't, try to find a blog article that is providing value to people uh, from your competitors or like other websites and try to repurpose it. Don't copy, repurpose it into the email, just to provide value to people. Then email number seven, best sellers, products, reviews and testimonials. So by now people are all familiar with your brand, uh, with what is it all about. Now just show them a few best sellers, maybe they'll just buy them because they don't know what to do, they're confused. So show them what the best selling item, what the best selling items are and combine it with some reviews and testimonials just to add more social proof. Then email number eight, more education, so Mythbuster or other value packed email. If you have more blog articles, you can also promote them here, it's a great place to do it. Email number 9, the final reminder about an incentive and you're sending it only to non-buyers. What you can do is you can also upgrade your discount code within the email number 9 and then email number 10 would be the final reminder. So by upgrading a discount what I mean is if in email number 1 you're pro pro promoting or like actually uh, promising them a discount code 15 bucks off, what you can do is just upgrade it to 20 bucks off and then have one more email which would be upgrade and then reminder. Then abandon card and checkout and browse abandonment. So as you can see, these structures are pretty much the same. Uh, time delay for both flows will be one day between each email. But one thing I want to remember, uh, I want you to remember, is just to adjust the content based on the customer journey. So if someone abandoned the checkout, they were very, very close to buying. So you don't need to do more convincing. You just need to remind them, uh, be very short, punchy and concise, just to make it very, very uh, very very short and like don't try to convince them why you should buy from us because they almost had it So email number one is reminding about the products left in the card or check card Then email number two is giving an incentive and talking about the USP Then social proof reviews testimonial success stories and then email number four is urgency and the last incentive reminder What you can also do is the same thing you could do in the welcome flow Which is upgrading the code and then having the last email as urgency and the last reminder so this would be email number five and then the upgrade will be email number four so yeah the structure for the browser abandonment flow is almost the same uh one more sneak tweak that you're having the content completely different so you wouldn't copy the entire abandoned checkout flow and make in browser abandonment you need to adjust the communication based on where you're at so at browse abandonment stage, uh, you need to do a little bit more convincing, a little bit more education, make the email slightly longer, and I guarantee they're gonna convert well. 
then side development so uh, one of the last pre-purchase flows so promote the sellers help them make a choice if they left your website without buying maybe they just don't know what to choose because you have too many products maybe they have some questions that's why you want to offer them help show best sellers and let them know that if, if they want to know more about your brand or products you can, they can shoot you an email and that's it then back in stock so the last pre-purchase email uh, three minutes long it works extremely well so you must have it set up Email number one, informing people about the product being back in stock. Then email number two is creating an urgency. Uh, the product might go out of stock again. So if it already sold out, it might be the case once again. That's why you want to remind them about that. And then the last email is given incentive plus urgency. So, hey, you have 24 hours to, you know, buy the back in stock product and save 10%. For the time delay for this flow, I would make it anywhere between two to three days between each email and that's it. Yo, just for break. So if you run an e-commerce store and you want to generate between 30 to 50% more sales, go to ventivemail.com and book a call with me. My team and I will handle your entire email and SMS marketing strategy and will help you scale your e-commerce store by generating more profitable sales using email and SMS. Go to ventivemail.com, book a call with me and I'll show you the entire strategy that we will use to help to scale. Book a call with me and let's have a chat. Now we are going into the post purchase flow, starting with customer thank you. So email number one should be a simple thank you. You can also make it like from the founder. So use a plain text, uh, make it personal like, hey, thanks for being a part of our brand and so on and so on. Then email number two is a bounce back email. So it's immediate cross sell upsell where you have to create urgency, no discount code whatsoever, because if you give a discount code at this point, they're gonna refund the order, use the discount code and buy the items at discounted price which doesn't make sense, that's why you don't want to use discount codes at this email at all. Then email number three is removing buyer's remorse, uh, show success stories, make people excited about the purchase. So as for the time delay for those, this flow, uh, this one's being sent right away after someone buys, the bounce back email is being sent one hour after email number one, email number three is being sent usually like two days or one day after email number two because people are like okay i bought it was it a good decision so show them that yeah it was a great decision it's gonna change your life completely and then email number four how to consume set expectations so you want to send it approximately when the order arrives that's why you need to adjust the time delay based on what are your shipping times usually i'll just make it like three or four days after email number three then promote relevant blog articles so you want to make sure that people maximize the utility of the product they get the maximum results so educate them uh, time delay would be three to four days after the previous email email number four then email number six cross sell upsell so once they're familiar with the product they used it maybe they want to upsell or cross sell uh, time delay for this one would be seven days after email number five then you can ask them about the review um, or offer an incentive for UDC. So usually you don't have to offer incentives to get any reviews, but by giving them incentive to leave a review or record the UDC, you're just gonna get more reviews and UDC content. So uh, that's why I recommend you do it if you really wanna ramp up the volume for getting UDC content. Then email number eight, with very different. Um, yeah, for email number seven, the, uh, the time delay would be seven days after the cross sell up. So you don't want to try to cross sell them and then yeah, like leave a review. Spread them out, uh, just like with the welcome flow. It's also building a relationship. So uh, you want to make it seven days after the previous email. Then email number eight, refer a friend, introduce referral system. Same uh, goes for the time delay, which is seven days after this one. Five to seven days gonna be ideal. Uh, introduce the referral system. Mo word of mouth is very, very powerful. So people are just gonna be acquiring customers for you if you give them a chance to do so. Then we have another post purchase flow with this customer win back. Uh, usually time delay will be 45 to 60 days after someone bought from you. You can adjust based on your brand. It consists of four emails. Email number one, uh, new arrivals, here is what's new, here is what you've been missing out on, just to show them what's actually new, because they've been away for like two months, uh, they haven't interacted or bought from, bought from you, so we want to show them uh, new things. People like fresh stuff. Email number two, we miss you, give them an incentive, uh, short and punchy, you can also make it a plain text, it would work well. Then email number three, uh, success stories plus bestseller, so again, you want to remind them why they bought a the product from you in the first place, that's why you're using success stories once again. Then email number four, which is the urgency and the last incentive reminder, 24 hours to claim, and the time delay for this flow is between three uh, to actually seven days between each email, so you want to uh, try to strategize it more. So if you send new arrivals, uh, then you can give people like five days. If they didn't buy, give them a discount code. So time delay for those two would be five days. 
then if they didn't use the discount code, um, show success stories, which could be three days, and then urgency and last instant reminder, I would do even like seven days, it would be fine. Then VIP flow, so free emails, very short and punchy, time delay for each of the emails, I like to do like five to seven days, just to spread it out across the time as well. So email number one is VIP announcement. Uh, I also love using plain text for this one, just to make it make it more personal and just play with sender's names as well. So again, you would use name from brand, works extremely well. And obviously, if they join the VIP uh, segment, you want to give them an incentive and to reward them for spending so much money or buying um, you know X times at your store. Then email number two, talk about the VIP perks, build a strong relationship, give them VIP treatment. So if they join VIP, uh, they actually need to know what does it mean. So, okay, I'm VIP, what now? What does it mean? What, what's in it for me? Even though they spend a lot of money, you just still want to give them more value. That's why this email is so important. And then the last email in number three, it's just incentive reminder plus urgency. So the code is not going to be there forever. Uh, use it now. Obviously, you're gonna, you can send some flash, flash sale comp campaigns later on, but you can still use this incentive uh, reminder just to get them to buy right now. Then replenishment, so it works. If you obviously can set this flow up, make sure you do it because it's printing sales like crazy. Three emails long, uh, what I like to do is spread them between three to five time days time delay between each email. Uh, and the time delay for the first email will be based on how many days people need to consume your product. So if the average consumption time is 30 days, you would send this email like 25 days after they bought, so you can actually have time to ship the products. So email number one is just asking them if, are, if they are running low on supplies, if they are, you can refill it right now, no problem, and you don't have to have this pause of, for example, not taking your favorite supplements, so you can see better results if you have the continuity of taking them every single day. Then email number two, show new arrivals plus give an incentive, so they haven't bought from you for like a month at this point, so we still want to show them what's new, what's fresh. Then email number three, incentive reminder, so they have 24 hours to claim the code, what server, Incentive reminders always work well because people think they can just keep buying over and over again So that they have a lot of time and they can just come back over and over again uh, and the code is gonna be active Prove them wrong. Uh, also use dynamic codes, uh, which I talk about in my other videos But use them just to make the code more unique and create more urgency then flow number 10 which is customer birthday slash first purchase anniversary so i know a lot of brands are doing customer birthday which is great but then again uh, you won't have like dates of customer birthday for all of your customers and you don't want to be collecting them using your regular pop-up because the conversion rate is going to go down so what you can do is have like a separate pop-up for existing customers where you ask them about this date but what i like to do is just have like a first purchase anniversary so let's say they bought from you today. In a year from now, you would send them email saying, "Hey, it's our first, you know, uh, it's our anniversary, uh, it's our first year, or whatever," and just give them uh, some incentive uh, because it's been a year. So email number one, wishes plus gift, which is an incentive, and then email number two, incentive reminder plus urgency, time delay. I would make it like five to seven days. Email number two after email number one, so they actually have time to act on the discount they received. And then the last flow, which is sunset and engaged. Uh, don't make it longer than one email ever. Once I audited a brand that had like three months long sunset and engaged flow, doesn't make sense. You're gonna have very low open rates on this one because those people are already unengaged. So only one email, announcement plus incentive, and that's it. Uh, nothing more needed. So yeah, uh, those are all the flows that you need, and I will leave the mind map below this video so you can download it and look at it anytime you want. But other than that, all these are all the flows that you have you have to set up. You can incorporate SMS as well, but for email, that's literally everything you need to do to have anywhere between 30 to 50% uh, coming from Clavio every single month. So set the flows up, uh, this structure is proven to work, I use it across all my clients, and there are about 30%, all of them, on average they see like 40% coming from Clavio each month, so I know it works. Uh, if it doesn't work for you, then probably you just need to make your image better, which is either copy or design. So yeah, uh, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below in this video. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my other clever guides. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great one. Bye.